Well, in one of my previous videos, some of you roasted me for having a tiny mouse mat. Well, guess what? Size doesn't matter. Wow, Illuminati confirmed. But either way, I did decide like, yeah, I am upgrading my setup in every other way. Maybe I should invest in a proper desk mat. I mean, I thought maybe there's something special about them. So I used one of my discount codes that I had lying around for a brand called uh, Scarters. Anyway, so I got this desk mat which has two colors for about like 60% off, which is pretty dope. Okay then, I mean, these are exponentially more expensive than mouse mats. So is there anything to them other than being a giant mouse mat? And after unboxing, I was like, wow, this is just a giant mouse pad. And I threw it in the garbage. No, I'm just kidding. I, I like it. As I said, I went for a dual tone kind of a mat. One side has a tan leather finish and the other side has a bluish gray finish. Both have the same texture though. Damn, that's quite a bit bigger than I thought. That's what she said. It uses pretty thick quality vegan leather. You know, in other words, fake leather. But it doesn't feel cheap in any way. I like it. This color version is apparently called tan and graphite. So I guess this is the graphite color on the back. They even include a same colored friendship band in the box. How sweet. It kind of feels like a dog collar, but it's okay. What, you don't believe that this is a friendship band? Well, guess what? Look, they even include a personalized letter. It says, Dear Friend. It's almost like my real name. I'll keep this in a secret place and read it later. Just to give you a size comparison, here's my older mouse mat. Well, I don't know for sure, but based on my scientific observations, I think this one is quite a bit bigger. Okay, let's see what a setup looks like on this thing. Hmm, not bad. Some people say it helps with the sound of your keyboard. I didn't notice a huge difference with the sound, but I do notice slightly lesser vibrations on the table. And of course, the mouse movement feels really smooth. I'm really liking this tan color, but I guess the graphite has a pretty good look too. Let me know which one is your favorite. But for now, let's set it on my main work table and see what it looks like. I'll obviously have to clear this first. Hang on. There we go. Eh, I'm still practicing my magic. It doesn't work on all things. So I'll give the table a quick wipe to remove any dust and spread this on there. Okay, that's a pretty great fit. Well, I noticed that it slides around the table pretty easily and that's not good. Well, nothing that a few short strips of double-sided tape can't fix. And there we go. Perfect. Simple solutions. Great, let's put everything back together with magic. Oh, come on, it doesn't work. Fine, let's do it manually like normal humans. Now, I wouldn't recommend keeping your laptop directly on it and using it because, you know, if it gets hot, it may start to smell after a while. You should use a laptop stand like the one I use to give it some better airflow. Well, the workstation does feel more comfortable. It's a lot more softer to the touch. And some of you are wondering what this weird thing is on my desk. It's a fan, obviously. No Illuminati stuff yet. Well, to answer the original question, is a desk mat necessary? No, obviously not. I've been using my system just fine with my tiny old mouse pad, but you have to admit, this is quite a bit more comfortable. Being able to rest your palm on a pretty soft surface is a good change. The one that I have here is kind of expensive, but there are much more budget-friendly versions available. I'll link a few of my favorites in the description.